Hi, Mother Henry. How you doing today? I'm good, thank That's you. That's good. You know, I came over here because I heard you wrote a book. Yes. Is that the book right there? This is the book. Oh, look at that. Oh, you got your name on too, Max um, and Henry. Yeah, The Many Apparels of Women. Okay, so why did you write the book? I wrote this book because I was concerned about the image that many women have about themselves and the insecurities that uh, they carry, thinking that we cannot produce and do what we're capable of. Really? Like, for instance, give me an example. Well, for instance, women that have great abilities, great intellect, and if you speak to one who's home taking care of the children right now, and they're not in the workforce, they'll say things like, oh, well, I'm just a housewife. Well, I'm encouraging everyone to be the best that you can be of whatever you are. The best housewife in this world is as good as the best lawyer. Uh -huh. And that's what I want us to feel, that the value of who we are, wherever we are, whenever. Oh, wow. So that seems like a, how many pages are on there? Many, <laughs> this is a 98-page book. Nice reading size, uh, a nice print size, but it covers 10 specific areas that were given to me when I, wrote, I did a conference for oh. women. And I did one a year for 10 years. And after I closed that, I was still writing still keeping notes and still studying about women of the Bible in comparison to us today because I'm from a family of evangelists. Okay. And so after I closed that to take care of my husband, I decided that I'm going to keep notes on these things that we're capable of that we may not be doing because we have been hampered by the thoughts of those around us. Uh -huh. So I kept my notes, and before my husband passed, he said to me, I said, I'm going to write a book, I think. He says, write the book. And so two years later, I wrote the book. Okay. When did you write it? What year? Uh, this book was published uh, November of 15, 2015. Oh, wow. So it's been around for a while. It's been around a few years. Would you say this book covers every year, even like a year that we've just gotten through? Yes, it does. It was a pre. It was a pre-rep of what happens now. I mean, things that are going on right now, because when I did this, I was going on a focus on a vision that was given to me, saying, okay, we're beautiful from the inside out, not just on the outside, what we look like. The beauty is on the inside. We wear many hats, and we must recognize them ourselves first and display them, and we see it happening more and more, but not enough. So like I was saying, the the topic of it just says that the women go through and have been through a lot, but yet they're the ones that multitask everything. They, uh, for instance, they have it to be, be the five, mother and the father. It can be five things in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so when you were coming up, um, what did you see like your mother do? What did she have to do? Or did you come from a I came from whole family? A full family. Uh -huh. Uh and I'm the oldest of seven children. Oh, wow. And my mother took care of the home. She took care of us. She took care of, um, she wasn't an outside worker. Uh -huh. my, my dad did that. But she took care of the home. She took care of the children. She helped kids in the neighborhood. She helped my father in the ministry. She was there for everyone who needed her. She was a mother to many outside us. But she never... Um, probably wanted to go past that because maybe she thought she couldn't. Mm. She didn't have the time to do it or to give to anything else. She, her job, her duty, and she was one of the best, was there at home. So she doesn't have to be uh, an engineer. Her engineering was where she was. And then we have to be happy and glad with that and do it, but do it to the best of our ability without any intimidations. Would you say women have had to wear more hats from when you were coming up to now? Yes. Like, for instance? I think now, because of the changes and the progression in um, society, there are more opportunities, there are more things, we're better educated, we can, but we can do what we need to do. Today, in this time, women are paid 23% less than men for the same job. Still. Still, so, still. Therefore, we must be encouraged to progress and endure and reach for the stars. Stop putting limitations on what we can do. 
but the, but the, but society has not received us for that as yet. Wow. So, all the way from fighting for equal rights equal to rights. voting rights, there doesn't seem to be too much. Would you say there hasn't been that much change from then to we, now? These things have been visited. Mm -hmm. uh, they have been said to be changes. However, today. We face the same thing. We have no time to stop. We must be progressive in what we do, stand for what we believe, hold our integrity, and fight for a greater destiny than we have now. So would you say that the country voting for its first minority, a vice president female, is a, a big step, or is it still... A lot more to do. Oh, there's it's a great step because she's the first woman of any color mm -hmm. to be the vice president of the United States. But there's opportunity for all women. This is not just for black women. This is for women. There is a stigma that we cannot do what a male can do with the same background. So she's a great example. She's she said her mother said to her she may be the first, but she won't be the last to walk in this type of uh, environment. She's, she's a great example for us, but we must all seek and know that any one of us can do that if we have the time, the age, and, we, and the ability to do it. Just don't give up on whatever you are. And if you're not the vice president, you might be the vice president of the PTA, but be the best. And that's what would cover you wearing many hats. Yes. And different apparels because you have to change at any moment. You have to be a doctor. Yes. You have to be a lawyer in some regards. You have to be everything, especially if you're, you know, a single mother yes. with many kids. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, any any mother. Yeah. Any person. You may not even be a mother. Uh, you may not be a natural mother. Mm -hmm. But you could be a mother to the children in your community. Oh. You may be a parent to someone who didn't have a parent. Oh. So your duties... Are the same, whoever you are, your name is woman. And woman has to wear many, women wear many hats. And women <clears throat> are designed to do that. We're able to do that. We're multitaskers day and night. Okay. So, I, I, That's I just, a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> so all I want to do is display this book to them as a just taking this image, putting yourself in the, in the spot that you fit of the many hats and thinking about what can I do more and better than I'm doing right now and don't take down, don't diminish your ambitions for anything. Very good. Yeah.